Jason Kilmer from KXK Dynamics. Uh, what you're about to see is the one wing challenge. It goes back 20 some years ago. My good friend uh, said, hey, you've got one wing because my arm is a lot of muscle on the left side, not so much on the right side because of my cerebral palsy. So hence the one wing challenge. The reason behind it was for the KXK guys, uh, Aaron and Andy, my business partners, to kind of give an insight of what I've dealt with and the things I've overcome and struggles. So what we've done is I have one good arm uh, that, that's functional and uh, one eye that's fully functional. Uh, my left eye is basically no depth perception. So we put an eye patch on one of their eyes and we've basically made it more difficult with one arm to do this challenge and, and, and really just to inspire people may that have struggles uh, in whatever they do uh, we had a lot of fun yesterday in fact all of the tools and process and the pads and the sandpapers and things like that will be auctioned off and the proceeds will all go to United Cerebral Palsy so it was all in good fun and uh, hopefully we raise uh, a good amount of, of money for charity Hey guys, Anthony here, and I am trying to moderate this event here uh, full of crazy people. So, introducing the teams, we have Team Foxy Gates over here. We have Team Dason, nice, uh, nice muscles there. And then we have Team Bald Guy over here. Pretty straightforward, pretty simple. So we have a junkyard across the street, and these teams have 30 minutes to go pick, pull their hood, and bring it back to the TRC HQ. So at the sound of this horn, let's begin. Oh, <laughs> 
Well, now we're to the hood part. We're gonna inspect your hood, but first, you had four penalties. So you get four key marks. I'm just gonna give you an extra one. Mm, thank uh, you. It's, it's gotta be a challenge, thank come you. on. Well, just right off the bat, like seeing some of the stuff that you've so graciously given me, uh, I'm probably gonna need to properly cleanse the hood and then start with at least three different versions of sandpaper. Yeah, I think we can. I think we can get her looking good. Let's wipe her down real quick. Let's and get then, her done. Uh, let's see what we got. Put that in your mitt there. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> Love it. If it sounds like you're sanding when you're wiping down your head with fluid, you might have to clay. Nick, my nut. All right, now we're gonna bust out the Sun Match Three. That's what I'm talking about. We're gonna see what you got. Oh yeah, it's a swirling nightmare. Just what I suspected. Well, you got some water spot, hard water spots in there too. Yeah, and then I, as we were cleaning it, I noticed that uh, we've got some some bird turd bombs that yeah. have etched themselves in. So at some point, this hood got really, really, really hot and uh, decided to fully embrace the bird poop. Yeah. So it's a little too deep, so I'm probably uh, going to lose this really bad. Mr. Ward, Mr. Proficient X. Hello, uh, sir. So we've got your hood here. Yes, sir. Nice and smooth. Nice smooth hood. I regret to inform you though that you did pick up three penalties. What? So now the key, would you like them in any particular position or location? Doesn't really matter what you want. Well, it doesn't matter. One and two and ones. three. Thank you. So we've got to take those out, but let's talk about what you've got here. What are you thinking? What's the plan of attack? <laughs> uh, we have oxidation, we have deep reds, we have a serious defect. Uh, it really depends. I mean, once I get into it, but I'll try to go DA all the way through it. I'm definitely going to fall on my face, so I'll probably have to switch to rotary. <laughs> probably. Yeah, no, definitely. <laughs> all right, well, let's give this thing a wipe down. Um, Thank you, sir. There you go. Appreciate that. Here, you want to you want to spray that for me? Yeah, sure. Let me try. Let's step on it. Then no. Oh, that's bad. I'll take that. So you only have one good hand. Thank you. You want to do the inspection with the light here, so we can get a look at the uh, other defects. Mm. Yeah. All right. Take me out, or? Thank you, sir. Yeah, turn me on. Thank you. Oh, yeah. So, we, we pretty much have everything under the Tuscan sun on this one. Whoop, we don't want to go over there. We want to keep it uh, PG rated. So, I think it's going to take a lot longer than an hour to do this, but those are the parameters of what I'm working with, so I'll take what I can get. Oh yeah, boss, you got it. All right, we're out here, David. What do we got? It looks white. It does. Mm. Why? I don't know. Why, why did we get this hood again? Well, we thought it looked good. All oh, right. Well, mm -hmm. well I, I know you drop kicked somebody's hood. I did. I did. So that you have was at funny. least one key. Well, that's all right. Key away. I don't have a key. Someone's got a key. I got a key. All right, but. I think that's dirt. You should probably just actually wipe it down so we can see. I think you're right, but let's key the dirt in let's first. Let's key it first. So we got the one, and then there was at least two more. Yep. Put a couple more in there. Because I'm the king. And a smiley face. There you go. All right. Well, since I'm the king, you, you wipe it down for me. That's fair enough. Oh, 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 you missed about a little bit right there. Oh, yeah, we'll get that. We'll rub, we'll rub the dirt in harder. Tune, tune that up for me. Oh, I think this was, uh, this spot right here was a little payback. Yeah, yeah. That was the boulder from, uh, <laughs> from, uh, from X. Was that yeah, your boy yeah, X? Yeah, that was Andy. Thanks, Andy. Oh, 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 we don't, hey. Uh, no, we don't want to put more scratches. We're okay on with, head. we're okay with the scratches, right? I thought, I mean, we just put a smiling face. Well, yeah. Okay. Right. It looks bad. Yeah, real bad, actually. It still looks real bad. bad. Terrible, actually. Look at this bad boy. That's the smiley that? face. Oh, is that your smiley face? Now it's my smiley face. 
Okay. Oh, what do we see? Well, we see oxidation, we see scratches, we see bird etching, tar, we see boulder marks. You gotta watch out for those boulders. I don't know where to start. Oh, I do. I'm gonna start with sanding. We'll probably start with 15. Just 15 it, 2,000 it, and then buff it from there. Definitely the rotary, the Roops rotary, and then uh, Roops 15, and then a foam pad. That's what I'm gonna do. The Sammy. So I think I'll speak for all of us when I say I'm surprised we have made it this far, but here we are. We have all three hoods in the TRC studio, and we are ready to begin. So, Team Foxy Gates. We're ready. Well, let's do it. Team Jason. And Team Bald Guy. Ooh. And now we're on the clock to finish out these hoods to the best of their abilities. Let's get this thing going. minute mark and it's time to get an update from the refs to see exactly where we're at on these hoods. Um, from my perspective, they look pretty horrible, but I'll leave that to the refs to uh, give some final judgment on here or give just some pre-final judgment on because we still have 30 minutes left. So, starting over here on Team Bald Guy, Dylan, what are we working with? Uh, well, so Andy's been uh, heavy on the rotary cut and doing a surprisingly good job with one arm and a robot hand. But, um, <laughs> There's been sabotage, I'm not gonna well, lie. To be honest though, I think his was sabotaged the least. I think Andy has gotten the most done yeah. so far out of everybody else. Yeah, I think we're, we're, we might run away with this. Oh, we'll see. We'll Robot see. high five. Probably the worst thing you could have said right now with those two five. guys listening. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so coming over to Team Jason over here. So, give us a rundown, David, on where we're at and uh, how this thing's looking. It's kind of messy for the champ. We got spots that look pretty much perfect. And then other spots that look like... Haven't been touched. Or worse. Yeah. So I'm not really sure what we're going to do. We might need to cause sabotage. Maybe, yeah, I think so. In order to raise quit. our rank. Yep. We're already the self-proclaimed champions, so it's time to pull out all the stops. A lot of words here coming from this, uh, this middle group here. So moving on, over to Team Foxy Gates. This looks like a nightmare. And uh, I think they do a better job of explaining it, Levi. Well, uh, yeah, we've had uh, had some setbacks. Right. There, was, there was one major setback. What, at one, at one point, at one point, we'd gotten down to three thousand and was uh, getting ready to finish it out and start polishing. Uh, and then, unnamed culprit, culprit, this came guy out right here, here. and uh, put some little love taps with six hundred, which has caused him to have to go back and get those six hundred grant marks out. So we've got a long way back up the top of the mountain. Let's just hope that we, we have there. enough clear coat to get through it. That's what we're hoping. Yeah. Hopefully we can vouch for Audi that they put enough clear in this thing. So. All right, so that's the 30 minute update. We're gonna follow up again at the 45 minute update and then the last five minute update with, uh, to see exactly where these guys are at. So stay tuned for more and uh, let's get back at it. So it's time to check in for our 45 minute update. So let's head over there and make some noise. That's loud. Hey! Oh, no. Ah! That's cool. <laughs> anyway, so 
it's time for our 45 minute update to see where things are at. Uh, they're looking a whole hell of a lot better than it was earlier. So let's start with uh, Team Ball's guy over here. Give us the rundown. Hold on, dude, make this on the guy. Yeah, I'm getting tired, that's for sure. It's definitely um, difficult with the restrictions here. Dylan? It's uh, progress is made. Um, there was additional setbacks. Some sabotage. I think we got an instant replay. Yeah. But he's still doing good. The problem is this thing is like drier than a popcorn fart, and so uh, <laughs> it's sucking up compound. Is that a thing? So uh, it, I'm what, like roughly like a gallon, I think, on here, I'm and uh, it still just keeps soaking in. I'd like to take a moment to point out Andy's arm over here. <laughs> uh, so there's been damage to the appendage. This, so this used to go straight. But now it does not, not go straight. Um, it's curved. <laughs> All right, so coming over here and checking on Team Jason in here. So, uh, give us a rundown, David. What do we look like? Unfortunately, I don't think we look much better than last time. No. I, uh, no. Hey, I can argue that because there are focal points on here that do look almost perfect. They look pretty great. <laughs> um, that's. All I can really say as far as that goes. But well, what about everything else? You want to well, Jason? Well, you know, this guy over here happened to put a good logo in the hood, KXK, but uh, he did it with a razor blade, so I really tried to get one out here. And uh, still there, but I took 600 of it pretty aggressively. Okay. So, so needless to say, though, you take your time, right? I try. I try. All right, okay, so uh, you don't have a lot left, so I'm just no. letting you know, 15 minutes left to still it, prove you're the king. It's not gonna happen, I don't think. Huh? It's hammered on. Come on. Oh, no. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. I, have, I have high hopes. All right, yeah. Yeah. moving on here to Foxy Gates over here. Yeah. So these guys had it rough. If you guys can remember about 15 minutes ago, they weren't looking too good due to some 600 grit sandpaper that was laid down here in Foxy's hood. But Levi, give us a rundown of what we're looking like. Aaron's really uh, put the hammer down and I mean, this half is looking spectacular. So, pretty, pretty impressive. Great comeback. Uh, I think we're uh, catching up the team ball guy over there. I think we're going to be able to do it. I think we're going to be able to pass them. <laughs> <laughs> So we have 15 minutes left, and that means we're gonna give you one more update at the five minute mark, just to see where these guys are at. So uh, let's get these guys back to work. So there's only five minutes left of the competition, so let's run over there and give the guys the five minute rundown. Five minutes! All right, that time the can didn't burn me, which is really nice. So anyways, guys, we have five minutes left, so it's time to start wrapping up the detail, start doing your final wipe downs. We are not adding protection in this video, so basically what you're seeing is gonna be true to the finish. Uh, we're not doing any panel wipes either, though, so no panel wipes, and then there's gonna be no last step protectant. So that final gloss is what you're just gonna see after they finish out with the polishing. So here after five minutes, we're gonna call it and we are going to see the final result of each of these panels where we're gonna have all three judges going through and judging each panel on its own to see uh, who takes home the prize. So five minutes, let's get back at it. So it's been one hour, it's time to go call it. All right, that's it. Polisher's off, finish wiping down your panels. It has been one hour, it's time to see the final results. So we're gonna pull in all three judges to go through and judge each panel one by one to see who won first, second, and third place. Well, I don't know about you guys, but that was... Uh, interesting. Interesting, <laughs> impressive. It was pretty phenomenal, but absolutely. innovative. Bonkers. And yeah, I'm crazy. tired and I wasn't even polishing. I know, I was like, we had to sit down and take a breather because <laughs> these guys are uh, a little crazy and wild, but the results speak for themselves. Uh, all three of these hoods just looking down the line look really good. This, though, 
for as dry as this clear was. Yeah, this thing was sucking up the compound. <laughs> it is glowing. This red looks insane. Yeah, I and mean, there was deeper stuff that I don't even think, that almost looks like it might be down to primer. Um, obviously the stone chips weren't gonna come out, but yeah. I mean, the bulk of this thing. Yeah, there's just some light spots that are that still need a little more time, but I'm really, <laughs> I'm impressed with this hood. Yeah. I yeah. am too. I, we still got a big defect, but it, it looks pretty yeah, I can awesome. Yeah, see that big defect. <laughs> it's 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 better than I expected. Yeah. A little sap that made it. Unfortunately, yeah. But its way in, but that's not too oh, bad. Well, pretty I'm, strong. I'm pretty impressed with it. All right. Yeah, I'm thoroughly impressed. Let's look at the others. Let's look at Kilmer's here. Well, now we have Jason's hood, and I will say his edges need a little work. Yeah, there's some. He kind of he, he kind of ran out of time. I don't know, guys. It looks perfect to me. <laughs> but I'm not biased or anything. Yeah. Right? No. No. No, I'm, but, not gonna, I'm not going to deduct points for the, uh, yeah, the razor blade marks. But I'm going to say, even around the razor blade marks, that's pretty dang good. Yeah. Yeah, he's got spots. I mean, there's really a strong. lot of really nice, nice clear on this thing. It's some really good correction. Yeah, the transition from the outside perimeter is uh, is a little. But I mean, like, but this it thing, looks. It looks. Tell he spent more time on the big yeah. part. And well, and this thing was basically a cat's house for most of, the, <laughs> most of its life. I mean, these are literally just all cat scratches. Yeah, and it's very white looking. Yeah, so. so I mean, this has some color. It's a very deep red, which I thought it was kind of a pink. Some remaining uh, sanding down. I didn't see that either. <laughs> just, but, I don't know. I'm, I'm really impressed with the results of this. This looks good too. So, all right, it does look good. All right, let's, let's check out the Noxies. Noxies. So I'm gonna uh, defer to you gentlemen, since this was kind of, uh, I was judging this hood. This is uh, mine. I think it looks amazing. However, I will say, you know, when we were taking it off the car or when Aaron was taking it off the car, uh, this hood looked perfect. <laughs> and through the foul, you know, uh, dishonest assault. Sabotage. I was just saying it was, a, it was sabotage and assault. assault yeah. Uh, borderline felony. Borderline. Perfect. Caused the uh, dents and the scratches. And at one point, you know, he was in the home stretch, probably only about five minutes into the entire project. We were looking at it as an easy win. And uh, get cocky, that's where he is. You know, is. well, no, yeah. it was, he was quiet and humble, but uh, <laughs> Kimmer came over with some 600 twice, twice in the same spot. Twice, yeah. So uh, there's no clear left there to really, we didn't want to damage it. So Aaron. This is, uh... Aaron used some good judgment. I actually thought this was going to be the worst. Yeah, it's and close. It, it's it might be pretty comparable to Jason's. So, but either way, I'm I'm super impressed just because this thing looked like a disaster about 20 minutes like, ago. You did drag it halfway through the junkyard. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's hard to hold on to. Down. Yeah. yeah, it was hard to hold on to. Yeah, 20 minutes might have the biggest turnaround in 20 minutes, but unfortunately, that's not the true. Yeah. That's not the competition today. Yeah. Stuff, 20 then. bucks in 20 minutes and this thing's probably pretty much done. Well guys, should we huddle up for a moment? I think I think we're going to have to deliberate. Okay. 1 minute 37 seconds later. Well, I think we've got a uh, third place here. <laughs> the the limitation like on your hand, you can get around. Um simply just having my eye covered for that duration of time like I had a raging headache. It just gives me that much more appreciation and respect for, you know, people that are working in real life situations with disabilities. Yeah, and, uh, and it's not last place. No, it's just third in the field of three. Yeah, no biggie. No yeah, biggie. no biggie. It's easy. <laughs> no, I mean there was, I mean, admirable uh, effort, but uh, I mean this you is know. tough to judge. They're all really good, but this was just, just a couple spots. So. I think it was sabotage that got this one. I think so too. There's, uh, I mean, we got number two right here. And actually, we had a hard time deciding really which one, yeah. but they both had uh, positives and well, negatives. Not well. negatives, but just <laughs> not done. Yeah, yeah, not done, not finished. Yeah, a lot to do in an hour. <laughs> yeah. Um, I know for a fact they struggled with it. Um, and then when we, uh, we uh, attached the apparatuses with, uh, with duct tape, um, it was apparent that they were uh, they were going to struggle. Um, not so much that was the difficult part. The difficult part was actually the uh, depth perception, loss of depth perception with the eye patch. Very comical to see them struggle so much. It was uh, so I definitely have um, um, ammunition in the future if I ever want to get on them. 
<laughs> <laughs> so the the center of this one really had really really nice work, mm -hmm. uh, but lacking on the edges yeah, where yeah. It's kind of the opposite on this one. Um, had a little bit more problem areas in the middle, uh, but the outer edges were cleaned up. So we're gonna give this one second place, which probably means that. I think, uh, I think we're good. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> I think we're crowning a new champion. Congratulations. <laughs> you think you get to use the throne now? Yeah. 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 Uh, I don't want this one. I want my prize. So your your prize? Yes. Yeah. Is our. Respect and admiration. What? Come here, we're proud of you. High five. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you really, you really begin to have a serious appreciation for being able to have mobility of all four, uh, of four of your your limbs, both hands and feet. I mean. The fatigue just set that set in. Not only were you dealing with physical uh, physical fatigue, but then you were dealing with the strain of uh, what was going on with your eyesight. It was it was intense. Well, that's the end of the one wing challenge. We hope you guys enjoyed watching it. And as always, it's going to a great cause. We hope you guys had fun. Please share this video with a friend or family member, or maybe a detailing buddy who likes watching people polish paint because that's always a good thing. And. Uh, I'd like to thank the boys from KXK for coming out and participating. That was very nice of you guys, very gracious, thank you. Awesome. No problem, fantastic. Big ups to Dylan Von Cleese de Brupes, as well as David Patterson of Lake Country for David being Patterson. not only great sponsors, but great judges. That's right. Yeah, thank you. It was nice. You're good at that. You're good at judging. That's right. And make sure you like, subscribe, share uh, this video to all your friends and family, and Stay tuned for more videos right here at the Brian Company YouTube channel. serious appreciation for being able to have mobility of all four, uh, of four of your your limbs both hands and feet I mean and then when it came to uh, the depth perception I think it was definitely the most difficult you know I mean it's one thing you know we could kind of figure out what's going on when we were polishing and uh, being able to work the machine and utilize other portions of our body but that in combination with uh, having the limitation with the site, that was the most difficult because you had to strain your eye to compensate for loss of depth perception and sight within uh, within the other eye and it was extremely difficult. The difficult part was actually the uh, depth perception, loss of depth perception with the eye patch um, because it, it gives you a sense of where am I at on the panel. So that was definitely the hardest part. Towards the later part, of the competition where the fatigue just set that uh, set in not only were you dealing with physical uh, physical fatigue but then you were dealing with the strain of uh what was going on with your eyesight it was it was intense <laughs> the the limitation like on your hand you can get around um it was you know inevitably like i, I don't know if you you can say the same thing but like you kind of found that sweet spot that you could utilize yeah as like your guide uh, but the the optical um you know, impairment, like, if that's even a word, I'm pretty sure I just made something up. That sounds pretty good. Okay, that's all of it. Um, you know, being being in, impaired on, you know, either eye, like, like he said, the depth perception thing, like, when you're sanding, like, you're looking at, you know, depths, and, and what makes it even more impressive is that, like, you know, we all know that collectively, you know, clear coat and, and base coat is, is roughly the size of a cellophane of, of, uh, on a cigarette pack. You know, so to have the precision that Jason does, doing what he does, not to mention throwing in like, you know, a five-time Riddler champion, it's just that much more impressive. Um, when we came up with this challenge a month, month and a half ago, something like that, uh, Noxie's words were, oh boy, we're in big trouble. So I was, having a, I was having a blast doing it. I was having a blast watching them struggle. It was uh, very comical to me. 
you know, and, and you know, I'll speak into like what Andy was saying. It's <clears throat> how it impairs you is just absurd. Like it's, it's just a totally different, you know, world, like a totally different aspect. But like at the end of that, like, you know, simply just having my eye covered for that duration of time, like I had a raging headache, you know, uh, I was physically exhausted this morning. Yeah. And, and to, to have like a true understanding of how that like affects your physical being with just like simply taping up one hand and covering one eye for an hour or two um, was just, it's truly impacting. So it just gives me that much more appreciation and respect for, you know, people that are working in real life situations with disabilities. You match the insane amounts of awards with the handicap and then you have an attitude of Jason's, which is just of the utmost humility, yeah. and he's just so humble and honest, and just yeah. there for everybody in the industry. It truly is absolutely mind blowing at yeah. what what he's accomplished uh, in uh, in his career. It, Abs it, it really absolutely. is absolutely. You know? And like, yeah, I mean, I've been in this in this scene for a couple of days. You know, I've been I've been doing this for a little while, and I know you have too. Yeah. And then just to go into this situation and get your ass, ass completely waxed like, <laughs> is, uh, you know, it's humbling as well. But it just, like I said, it, you know, it just con continues to, to reaffirm, you know, my uh, my appreciation and respect for Jason. And like I said, anybody that's, that's working with a disability constantly in their life. Even when it was coming down to during the course of filming, where we were uh, taking care of even the smallest things when we had to use the restroom or even when Aaron had to tie his shoe. Oh yeah, time, was, I couldn't tie my shoe. It was crazy. I couldn't know? even think on how to approach that. Yeah. Like I was literally lost. Like I, I had to have someone help me tie my shoe. You know, and Jason comes over and it's like, Doo -doo and it, you know, that's his day to day life. You know? Yeah. Like you said, using the restroom or, you know, trying to open a bag of chips. I mean, just like the, the littlest stuff that I think you know, really what this made me do is it made me realize that I take a lot of things for granted. Absolutely. Um, in my day to day. And and I think that, you know, this whole experience is really going to leave me like overwhelmed with gratitude for like what I do have um, and what I don't suffer with. Um, so yeah, it was a great experience, absolutely. It kind of just makes you think that or even the smaller the smaller things that we're always fixated on and yeah. you know that we have oh, our day is just going so bad right. that there's always other individuals within this world that have a true this, struggle a, a true struggle yeah. those issues the the day-to-day -day ins and outs and the highs and lows when it comes to what human beings deal with but then also add that handicap and the struggle that it has when it comes down to just re uh, real life day to day experiences. It just reaffirms like, you know, there's a difference between like having issues and having problems. And, you know, like us just kind of being like wrapped up in our day to day, you know, like we, we kind of have a tendency to like slip into self and like what we want when we want it or how it's our day, you yeah. know? And in this experience definitely like allows you to kind of like see a different perspective of humanity. Um, and, and be a little bit more grateful, like to realize that like, you know, just because you're having a bad day because something didn't go your way, like that's an issue. It can always have some sort of resolution. Um, every second that passes is a chance to change everything. Um, but you know, those problems where like, you know, I mean, the fact that like that kid was left for dead the day he was born, Yeah. you know? Um, and then from, from the very second that he entered this earth, like he's had that struggle and to see the accomplishments that he's achieved, like it's just, it's profound. And for him to not only have this day in day out struggle, he doesn't even view it as a struggle, which is the, the, the best part. Right. Yeah, he's so upbeat. I've, when I've, uh, when we both have detailed with him on a regular basis, we almost forget that he has a disability yeah. because he's going pound for pound with us. And yeah. you know, when Jason gets tired during the course of the day, uh, at least myself, I'll be scratch my head and be like, oh, what's going on? And then it's like, oh my God, he has this disability, which yeah. I, I, I forget about it because that's not his main focal point during the course of the day because he, that is just life to him. Yeah. And so he never wants anybody to feel bad for him. Right. That's the last thing that he even wants to talk about. And he just basically uses it and adapts. And that's why he's so fantastic and at the top of his game and at the top of the industry within uh, the detailing community. Uh, besides all of the insane 
accolades that he has within the, the detailing <laughs> the detailing industry, he'll also be the first person that you can call and uh, he's a fantastic listener and he truly has a wonderful balance between life and business and family and his friends and he's, he's the, the first person to actually be able to reach out and make sure that you're okay and that hey kind of don't worry about it just dust yourself off and just keep on going down the, the road of life.